It's been 15 days since a bullied New Jersey high school student took her own life. And tonight, the Central Regional High School Auditorium is at capacity as members of the community sounded off after the death of Adriana Cush, saying bullying has been going on for years. CBS 2's Nick Calloway was there as school officials faced the public. Well, this meeting was a contentious one. It was moved to the school's auditorium to accommodate the hundreds of parents and students who attended. What's clear is that this community is scarred by tragedy. Resign. Leave. The meeting started with heckling of the school board and acting superintendent. That was just the beginning. Hearing what happened to Adriana was absolutely disgusting. And you all should be ashamed of yourselves for being born like this. Parents, students, and alumni voicing frustration, sadness, and anger over the school's handling of the tragic death of 14 year old Adriana Cush. It's the first board meeting since the girl died by suicide after she was bullied and beaten in a video that was widely shared online. My daughter comes home and she is also scared and she doesn't want to go to the school. It's actually really, really hard to be going to school now because of all the bullying and everything that's been going on. I'm still grieving over Adriana right now. The tragedy striking a nerve with those who say they have witnessed a culture of violence at Central Regional High. Student after student came forward sharing their stories of bullying by fellow students, even staff. I was bullied out of the school by not only students but teachers. I had to fend for myself because I was in the darkest point of my life and you completely abandoned me. On the stage was acting superintendent Dr. Douglas Corbett, who's been on the job less than a week after his predecessor resigned. Earlier in the day, Corbett faced reporters saying the district is reviewing its bullying policy. He was asked if he's been in contact with Adriana Cush's family. No, I have not. Tonight, parents say he and the entire Board of Education should all resign. I have no faith in the Board of Education as they are right now. He needs to be dismantled. In the aftermath of Adriana's tragic death, four students are facing criminal charges. School officials say faculty and staff will get more training on recognizing bullying. In Bayville, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.